Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. In the last lecture, we have seen what is setup time, what is wall time. Okay, so these two concepts we have seen and we have seen some questions. Okay, we have also seen what is propagation delay of flip flop. We have also seen the difference. What is the difference between setup time, wall time, and propagation delay? Okay, so in all these three concepts, what is the difference? We have already seen setup time. You already know that the amount of time. Okay. Uh, the amount of time before the clock is I can say okay when the clock is arrives before that what is the amount of time when your input must be stable and whole time means basically your input must be stable after the clock is has arrived okay so you can notice if if your if this setup violation or whole time violation happens then in that case basically the operation the flip-flop operation will be uncertain okay we don't know basically the flip-flop output will be unstable i can say unpredictable or i can say uncertain okay so this is the concept of setup time and hold time we have already seen so you know that this is the clock age so if your flip-flop is positive as triggered then this is the triggering age okay so when your clock is going from zero to one then your flip-flop will be triggered then your flip-flop will be operational i can say so our flip-flop will be operational during this time okay when your clock is going from 0 to 1 so you can notice that before this before this rising is what is the amount of time when your input must be stable and after this rising is what is the amount of time when your input must be stable so you can notice during this amount of time the input must be stable here the input can change here the input can change but you can notice during this period the input should not change if your input is 1 it should remain 1 if your input is 0 it, sh it should remain 0 okay it should not happen that okay input is changing during this period in this period input should not change okay input should not change in this time input can change here no problem but in okay input can change here there is no problem here input can change here but remember input should not change like this this should not happen okay input can change here there is no problem okay at this point of time input can change at this point of time input can change there is no problem okay so this can happen this is allowed so you can notice okay what is allowed what is not allowed so let me just explain what is allowed what is not allowed so you can you can just notice that okay so this is allowed so i can say input can change like this okay so this is allowed i can say okay this can happen there is no problem Similarly, I can say that this also can happen. So, for example, if your input is changing here, okay, at this point of time, if your input is changing, okay, at this point of time, if your input is changing, then this is also allowed, there is no problem. And similarly, you can notice if your input is changing like this, okay, at this point of time, your input is changing, and at this boundary, you can notice at the boundary of the whole time, set of time, your input can change, there is no problem. But you can notice that input should not change here, okay, I can say that input <clears throat> so input can change here and i can say that uh yes so you can notice that this should not happen okay so this should not happen so <clears throat> so this is the whole whole point you can notice so what is uh setup time what is whole time we have already seen now let us see this question okay so what happens if d okay d input and clock change at the same time okay so if they change at the same time in the first lecture we have already seen that if this change at the same time then setup time and hold time both violation will happen so you can notice in this scenario in this scenario okay so in the in this first scenario i can say what will happen in the first scenario and what will happen in the second scenario so i can say that in the first scenario both violation will happen okay so remember in the first scenario setup violation will also happen setup time and okay so i can i can say setup time comma hold time violation will happen hold time violation will happen so you can notice that okay if your input and clock both are changing at the same time okay so your clock is changing so your clock is rising i can say okay now at the same time if your input is also changing let us assume this is the input so this is the input d and this is the clock okay so if this is happening then you can notice our setup time violation is also happening so you can notice the setup time violation is happening and also hold time violation is also happening okay because you can notice setup time is saying that okay the input must not change okay in this duration i can say okay in this duration i can say uh, the input must not change and whole time says that in this duration input must not change so in this situation when your input is changing when your input is changing at the same time then in this situation i can say whole time and setup time both violation will happen okay so so basically input should not change uh, in this duration which is setup time input should not change in this duration which is whole time okay next 
what happens if we try to use q just after the clock so in this situation in the second situation you can notice what will happen here what happens if we try to use this output q just after the clock so here the okay output you will get unstable or un invalid output you will get because so i can say because because of propagation delay i can say because there is a propagation delay you already know so because there is a propagation delay so the wrong in the wrong output you will be using okay so basically if you do this in this second situation i can say that you will be getting invalid output okay so remember in this situation you will be getting invalid output okay so this is the concept and <clears throat> okay so both these concepts we have seen so in this second concept i can say that because you already know let us assume this is your clock okay so let's assume this is the clock you can notice if this is the clock so this is the positive edge and let's assume that your input is changing like this this is your input d and this is your let's assume we are talking about a d flip flop so this is the input d now you can notice that our in our output will change at this point of time okay so because this is the rising edge so uh sorry this is the falling edge actually so let's assume that our input let us assume let us assume that our uh, d flip flop is negative edge triggered so let's assume your flip flop is negative edge triggered so at this point of time your output will change your at this point of time when your clock is uh, going from high to low so in okay at this falling edge your circuit will be operational so your output will be changing so your output will be changing but remember your output will definitely change your output will be let us assume initially your output was one let us assume let initially your output was one definitely your output will change output will become uh, zero but output will become zero after some propagation delay okay so you can notice output will become zero and this duration okay so from this falling edge okay and here your output will become stable so you can notice this duration this duration is known as propagation delay so this is the propagation delay tpd or we can also call it t clock to q okay so basically this is the propagation delay of your flip flop and you can notice during this period our output is during this period output is unstable i can say okay correct so you can notice during this period during this period output is unstable during this period output q unstable output q is unstable okay so output q will be actually stable from here okay so from here onwards i can say okay from here onwards your output q will be stable okay so at this point of time your output will be stable so you can notice that during this propagation delay i can say okay during this delay during this time our output is unstable okay so if you use the question is saying if we try to use q just after the clock so this is the clock this is the falling edge of the clock if you try to use the output q just after this clock then basically you okay your because your output is unstable so you will be getting unpredictable behavior again you will be getting unpredictable behavior because of so you can notice if you do this then what i can say i can say that unpredictable behavior uncertain behavior okay unpredictable unpredictable behavior you will be getting unpredictable behavior <clears throat> due to due to hold time setup time violation due to hold comma setup time violation okay so in this situation you will be getting this unpredictable behavior due to hold comma setup time violation and in this situation you will be getting unpredictable behavior if you use this unstable output then you will be getting unpredictable behavior behavior due to <clears throat> due to <clears throat> i can say propagation delay due to propagation delay of flip flop due to propagation delay of flip flop so this is the concept okay so we have already seen what is hold time what is uh, <clears throat> what is the propagation delay and what is the setup time okay in the next lecture we will study okay what is the minimum clock period okay so this concept we are going to study in the next lecture and this is very 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 important concept okay so in the next lecture we will study this okay